Welcome to the Structure Studios online video series. This video will explain Stage 7, Dex. Make sure to watch the Hardscapes video for information about creating hardscapes, retaining walls, and driveways. This video will pick up right where we left off in the Hardscapes video. We'll first create a deck under the covered patio. Activate the Line tool. Click on the left corner of the covered patio area. Draw to the right 20 feet and left click. Then up 15 feet and click. Right 10 feet and click. When we complete the line, we'll see the autocomplete target line appear connecting to the original point. Press enter for the deck to complete itself. In the panel, we want to click the wood deck button to make sure this is a deck instead of a hardscape. As soon as we press wood deck, We'll see the boards of our deck appear in the 2D grid. We'll set the height of our deck to 2 feet 9 inches for now to review the settings. Any shapes drawn in this stage can be switched between wood deck and hardscape at any time. Head to 3D to see the deck and review the interactive deck in the panel. First we have the surface boards. Here we can turn off the surface boards to see the framing. Or turn them on to set the board width, angle, and gap. We can also choose to have the surface boards overhang past the framing and set the overhang distance. It's also easy to modify the frame. Let's turn off the surface boards for now to see the frame underneath. Click on the frame on the interactive deck in the panel to see the options. We can turn joists off or on and customize the joist height, width, spacing, and inset. We can also add a rim joist rotate framing, add a ceiling, and turn beams off or on. Both joists and beams can be moved individually by double-clicking the board and using the gizmo to move it to a new position. You can restore the default position at any time by clicking the reset button. Now we'll click the post below our deck and review the post options in the panel. Here we can turn the posts off or on and adjust the thickness and spacing. As we adjust the spacing, beams will be added or removed automatically. Posts can also be moved individually like joists and beams. We can add piers to the bottom of the posts and set the shape and thickness. Next, click the fascia on the interactive deck in the panel. Here we can remove or add the fascia and set the height and turn the skirt off and on. The last deck component is miter boards. To modify the miter boards, we need to have surface boards on. Click surface boards in the panel and turn on surface boards. Now click miter boards on the interactive deck. We'll set our miter boards to one. When remove by house is checked, a miter board will not appear where the deck touches the house. Uncheck this option to have the miter board go around the entire deck. We also have an option to insert a divider. To use this feature, we need to head back to 2D. Click Insert Divider. We'll place the divider so the deck is split at the corner of the house. Once placed, the divider board separates the surface boards and framing below. Let's head back to 3D to see how it looks. The divider board looks great! We can now customize the surface boards on each side of the divider by double-clicking that section. Let's set the height of our deck to 1 foot 9 inches and head back to 2D to add a staircase. Click the Create Staircase button. When we move our mouse onto the grid, the staircase is attached to our cursor. As we drag the staircase over a shape, it changes direction to attach to that side of the shape. Position the staircase in front of the French doors and click to place it. Once the staircase is attached to the wood deck, it will calculate how many steps are needed to get from the deck to the ground. We also see staircase options in the panel. We can choose standard or wedding cake steps. The length of the staircase can be adjusted by clicking the purple endpoint and dragging the staircase to the desired length. Click the right endpoint and extend the staircase, leaving a one foot space to the edge of the deck. Then click the left endpoint and extend the staircase to 9 feet. We can also click the midpoint on the step to give each step a unique depth. 
click the midpoint of the first step and move your mouse up to set the depth to two feet. Let's head to 3D to see more staircase options. For this staircase, we can choose between normal, rounded, or square steps. When our steps are placed on a corner, we can also use the arc corner option. We'll set our staircase to normal. Height sets how high each step rises. Width sets the depth of each step. Let's set the width to 1 feet 4 inches. If we want 3 steps, type 3 in step count and click Auto Height. The software automatically calculates the correct height of each step. Or we can set a height and press the Auto Step Count button to have the software calculate the number of steps we need. We can also set a lip style and adjust the thickness of the lip. Turn off risers to see through the staircase or turn risers on to have a vertical face. We can finish the staircase by choosing between stringer, skirt, or none. When stringer is active, we can also select the stringer type and set the thickness. Now that our deck and staircase are in place, we need to add railing. Click Generate Railing on Deck. Railing is automatically added around the deck and even follows down the staircase. Railing will not generate on the side where the wood deck meets the house. Railing automatically goes on the top of the deck and down the staircase when auto elevation is on. When off, the railing will remain level with the ground. We'll keep auto elevation on. You can go to the walls, fences, and railing stage to adjust the individual settings of the railing. To select a different style, open the library and choose a new rail preset. This completes instruction on wood decks. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit structurestudios.com/help.